Hey, Dr. Landry. So uh, what are you trying to accomplish today? What are you going for today? Well, the biggest thing that I'm trying to get from the takeaway today from the day two of the seminar is how can we continually build our better leaders in our community? But not uh -huh. only that, on how we can inspire them to help reach their next level, help reach their goals that they're trying to obtain for their for themselves as like, well. Like, are we talking about people in the office? Are you talking right. about patients? I mean, what are you talking about? Technically both, right? Technically right. both. Um, for starters, our own team, right? If we can build a better team, how we can, you know, mold our team, train our team, that's going to give us the opportunity to have them be better leaders to serve more people, right? Because right. many of our patients are struggling. You know firsthand, they're down and out. They are coming in here as, um, you know, the last resort, right? So the more we can be better trained you as know, a team. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing is that most people are coming in as a last resort. And it's really one of my goals to, how do we put ourselves in the forefront on people's minds so that they think of drugs and surgery last and think yeah. of more conservative treatments yeah. first, right? right? I agree. And, 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 you know, one of the things that we've talked about many times before is, hey, most people are coming in, of course, yeah, they have pain. They have the pain in the back. They have the headaches. They have the neck pain. But most people, once they start to make that decision to change their life, it's usually because of something that they're unable to do that they love to do. Right. What activity is it that they're unable to do that they once was able to do? Right. And they right. no longer can or the quality of that thing that they love to do has decreased. What Have do you, you notice that? What do you think is the, the biggest thing that you notice people could not do? What's the biggest functional problem or functional yeah. impairment that you see? That people Sleep. Have? I hear Sleep. this almost on a day to day basis that it's so so minor. Right. So minor, but so major. I hear more patients tell me that I'm unable to sleep through the night. I'm tossing and turning. I'm waking up restless, right? That is probably the number one thing that I hear. How about really? you? I hear that they're not able to do work around their yard, not able to walk and exercise anymore because what I see is people want to be social. People yeah. as people, we're social. Sure. And yeah. if you don't, you can't take a walk, you can't go and do your shopping with your friends, right? right? Yeah. Or maybe even go to Disneyland and walk around. You yes. don't feel comfortable about that. I Under mean, that's, that's, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Something simple as just walking the dog or walking to the mailbox or, mm -hmm. yeah, like you said, doing your daily activities around the house, you know, right? The, the yard work, that's so, I just actually uploaded a video recently about yard work. Right. The bending, the twisting, the lifting, those daily activities are so vital and so function to have a great quality of life, right? Wouldn't right. you say? Right, you know? no, so I think that's huge, that's huge. They all tie uh, hand in hand, you know, and I know it's our goal, our mission to help anyone that wants our help, right, to that road to recovery. What can, how good can you get, right? You know, we we don't wait until tomorrow. That's another thing, right? Have right. you guys heard, that? how many uh, times have you uh, heard that? I'm gonna start on Monday, Right. I'm gonna start next month, I'm gonna start when, right? I'm gonna start right. when, I lose weight or I'm gonna start when, once my back pain gets down, then I do right. X, Y, and Z. Right, right, right. You know? I, I think um, people who are under our care, what they realize is about a week or two in, the biggest thing I hear is, you know what, Dr. Tam, if I would have known about this year sooner, I would have done it. Yeah. I would have done it five years sooner, 10 years sooner. I would not have waited until it got this bad. Yeah, we don't know what we don't know, right? right? And it's our job. Uh, you know, it's our personal uh, mission, at, you know, in our office is to, you know, educate and, and right. let you know, give you that, that, you know, sense of hope, right? Sense of uh, inspiration and give you the steps to take, you know, and, um, you know, that's our goal in our office. And well, one of the commitments is us doing videos like this. So we are able to share with other people out there yeah. on what they should be doing, what they could be doing. You know, if you don't know about us by now, it's our job right. to, to really let you know. We're not doing our part. Right? Right. When I hear someone, Oh, you've been here for 13 years? I, I never knew you were here. I said, oh my gosh, that's, yeah. I need, that's what inspires me to continue right. to educate and do all these videos and really connect with our, with our fans and, and people around us. Yeah, so. no, 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 that's a great point. That's actually a great point. If yeah. you don't know who I am or who Dr. Tam is, that is literally our fault, right? right. We should be out more, you know, letting you guys know the things that we offer, the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you don't know, Hey, we apologize for that. Yeah. That is our, that is our yeah. fault. Well, right. let's get the day started, brother. All right, brother. Let's do it. All right, guys.